By nightfall, the two brothers convicted of Daphne Caruana Galicia's murder were being sped off to prison. An abrupt turnaround, which only hours earlier had seemed impossible. At the start of their trial that same morning, George and Alfred Di Giorgio had both put in not guilty pleas. But they changed course, being handed 40 years in prison and a 50,000 euro fine each. A third suspect is already serving a 15-year sentence. The bomb that killed one of Malta's most respected journalists five years ago was placed under the driver's seat and was so powerful that it sent the car's wreckage flying over a wall into a field. She was known for her investigations into the island's secretive business and political elite, digging into Malta's dark underbelly and targeting the inner circle of then Prime Minister Joseph Muscat. Daphne was extremely influential, encourages journalists. Uh, one of her blogs had uh, more readers than there are inhabitants in Malta. So, uh, however, uh, the corruption cases she was in investigating as a journalist are still not resolved. While this verdict may have put two of the hitmen behind bars, prosecutors are now turning their attention to the man who allegedly hired them, a top Maltese businessman with ties to the government. Jorgen Fenech's arrest two years after the murder triggered mass protests, which led to the downfall of the government and sent shockwaves across Europe. He's already pleaded not guilty to the charges.